Hello again. So you thought I had forgotten about you, huh? No, it's just been a, it was a very busy week last week, so I was not able to get it done until today. So here is part two of my answers video. So dear Zoundstar, have you ever gone to college? If so, what college degree did you get, and have you considered a further education? Yes, I've gone to college. I have a bachelor's degree in psychology and a master's degree in counseling psychology. And I've not considered further education at this time, and if I were to get further education, it would be in my field, which is information security. And so, what do you think is the most influential person for or against atheism on YouTube? If any, who do you think should be the most influential atheist figure on YouTube? I think Pat Condell and Edward Current are probably a couple of the more influential ones. There are several others that are very good as well, and any of a lot of them have very good information, very good videos. So, I saw you once had a trip to Scandinavia. Did you enjoy it very much, and is it a place you definitely want to visit again? Yes, absolutely, I'd like to visit it again. I loved Stockholm, and I loved Copenhagen. Um, Oslo and Helsinki were also okay, uh, but I, I like Stockholm the best. But uh, partly probably because my grandfather is from there, but uh, uh, he, my more far, any Swedish people will know what that means. So, what is your name, Eric? What is your quest to educate and hopefully entertain a bit? What is your favorite color? Red. Do I win now? Yes, you win. So, I recently heard of iPhone app that tells you the location of cop cars anywhere in the world. Um, this is used by teenagers, could also be used for much more dire intentions. Do you think this should be legal or illegal and why? I think that that is something that could easily be made a case for being illegal because public safety is at risk and much as I'd like to be somewhat uh, libertarian on that sort of issue I think I'm gonna fall on the side of the law on that one because I don't want crazy criminals uh, being able to get away forever because they know exactly where the cops are how do you feel about the term hate speech I personally feel that you have free speech or no speech at all I think that any kind of speech for the most part should be permitted other than the normal other than things like libel that we have right now that is obviously illegal anyway in terms of hate speech the only line i would draw is if you are trying to incite harming another individual or trying to trying to have them killed by a crowd or something like that i think that gets into a pretty big gray area there but other than that yeah i don't think there's such a thing as hate speech outside of that that should be prosecutable what is your favorite karate movie and why? I'm not really that into karate movies, but I will say Rumble in the Bronx because that was kind of entertaining. It was Jackie Chan, whatever. Have you ever ridden in a truck? Well, yes, I have ridden in a truck. Not very often. Have you ever been injured playing sports? Um, not significantly, no. Uh, does, a, does carrying a purse come naturally to all liberal men? Well, I don't really consider myself particularly liberal, but... I don't carry a purse anyway, and uh, even if I did, I don't know what liberal would have to do with that, but okay. So, if you were to convert to a religion, what one would it be? I would say probably Buddhism, because they're very just kind of chill, and they're not, they're, they're very non-confrontational, let's say. Or perhaps Unitarian, they tend to be more just deists, you know, sort of in general. So, have you ever been religious? If so, when did you change? What made you change? And when did you change? I had never had been religious at any point in my life. I think I mentioned that actually in my previous video. And so, what do you think of the Fellowship, a.k.a. the family? I thought the C Street stuff was classic foil, tinfoil hat crazy at first, but now it appears they have their hands in many areas of our government. Are we at risk for moving towards a theocracy? What do you think should be done in response to groups like this? I don't think there's anything that needs to be done in response to groups like this. I think that these groups are really essentially fringe elements, even though they have some senators on board, that doesn't mean that they're going to be able to control our daily lives or anything like that. I'm not really overly concerned about them taking over, because partly because the Constitution prevents it. So what do you think of Tea Party activists? I think Tea Party activists are an interesting bunch. I think some of them have been hijacked by the more extreme elements within them, and I think a lot of them have been hoodwinked by Republicans to be just a general force of being against Democrat policies. And I think a lot of people don't necessarily know even what they're actually protesting. I think they're just angry people. Some of them have 
particular reasons to be angry that that may or may not be actually something reasonable but I don't think they're all like that I realize all religions are crazy and they're all cults if you had to pick a favorite religion what would it be mine is the Jehovah's Witnesses let's give a shout out to their door-to-door -door lunacy yes I would say Jehovah's Witnesses are high on the list of religions that I find crazy and actually you know, there was the video that I made recently about uh, my opinions on cults and that sort of thing and I certainly mentioned witnesses there and I would love to talk more about witnesses but I need some uh, permission in order to go further into that sort of thing so we'll see perhaps a future video if you had no choice but to pick one of the following two options which one would you pick spend a night in a log cabin with Sarah Palin or wax the amazing atheist fat near naked hairy body well if there were a matter of favors involved, let's say, then obviously I'd go with Sarah Palin. But if she's just going to yammer on all night about you know, her right-wing nonsense, then I think the Amazing Atheist's, uh, at least his back hair or something like that, I think even that might be a, a more attractive proposition. <laughs> so, well, first I'd say I'd like, to, I'd like to say I enjoy your videos, although I haven't found anything to argue with you about yet. I do still have a few more to watch, so we'll see. The question is, do you write everything down before making your videos, and then refer to it while filming? Just curious. Yes, in many of my videos I do write down what I'm going to say, or at least some detailed notes, and then I go from there. So I don't sound like I do in these videos. I sound a lot more polished. So, okay, I got another, if you don't mind me asking, what does your wife think of your videos? Does she ever watch them and debate with you? Yes, she does occasionally watch them. Most of the time she'll watch them. She's not really interested in them, per se. She does comment on them and have opinions on them from time to time. But she doesn't really debate them with me. It's just not something that's of interest to her for the most part. Although we do talk about spiritual issues and that sort of thing. And growing up, do you have any religious background or were you raised atheist? Yeah, I already mentioned that I've never been religious. And if you were to find out everything you believe was wrong and the apocalypse happened with seven years of hell on earth, would you accept Christ in your life? Well, if something like that happened, then I'd have to figure out what the reason was for it. And, yeah, I would have to accept whatever it was that was happening at the time, whether it be apocalypse or what. So, you mentioned that you worked with addicts. Are you a recovering drug addict or alcoholic? Just wondering what most people that work with addicts uh, have some personal background with drugs or alcohol. No, I've never had any sort of an issue with drugs or alcohol at all. I do realize that many people in that field have had experiences like that. Uh, not everybody, though. I would say it's probably 50-50 in my experience of the people that I worked with. It's probably about 50-50 those that, that had an experience and those that did not. So do you believe marijuana should be legalized, decriminalized, or about the same as it is now? I would say it could be decriminalized and then kind of see what happens. And then perhaps after that, if it works out, then maybe look to even reducing the penalties further. So if there was a sudden degree from, decree from the American government that all churches were to be burned down and on ashes hospitals were to be built, would you support it? I would not support it because that takes away people's freedom of choice, and I'm not that kind of person that believes that I should be able to force people into believing as I do. So I think that just about wraps it up and thank you for listening to my answers to the questions and shortly you will see How to Argue with a Creationist Part 4. I've already figured out what I'm gonna do for that so look for that sometime by this weekend. Talk to you soon. Quick capture pause.